Okay, here we go, our lucky color. So section off the head, I'll divide the sides, the top area, and I'll begin in the back, like mid point from the occipital bone to the crown, up to the crown. And that section, I'll take in like a somewhat oval diagonal shape. So I'll go in, and here I'll start to weave the hair. So I'm just gonna start placing my foils in at horizontally and gradually building up my color. So place a foil at the root and my color is a level 9 ash with a level 9 neutral 1 to 1 ratio with a 40 volume developer. So this color I'll hit the roots because I'll be able to like punch through her existing color and cool it down with that ash because my half of my formula is a level 9 ash base and then also with that half neutral half ash level 9s it'll give me the exact same root lift for the the root area inside that foil okay so my second foil I took heavier I actually took a slice so and this slice is as thick as I first weave but as I weaved it, I probably took 70% of that hair. This time with the slice, I'm taking 100%, but the thickness is the same. So again, here I'm building up my foil. I want the color to fall from soft to heavy. And that last section, I'll take very, very fine, just to allow for any jumpiness at the cowlick area. So now I'm building down the color. Starting with the weave, and again place the foil right at that, the seam right at the root. Use consistent tension to hold that foil into place. And I like to place a foil from like mid foil to the roots, and any existing hair I can just lift it up and just dump it in the same area. I like to have my product and my hair that I'm working on at about the, from the beginning to the 50% mark of that foil. So now through the sides, I'll be working with horizontal sections. And again, my sections are quite wide because I don't want it falling too natural. Thus, I'll also weave the hair quite heavily. And always make sure you take a piece of that hairline. Some things you need to take into consideration about hair throughout the hairline. If you find that the hairline is quite fine or thin or the density is less than the other portions as you move back, you need to weave or slice that area a bit finer, otherwise you'll find that you get a really heavy blotch right at that point. So still, working up the head, I take a big slice here, just slightly above the parietal. So again, I'll place my product at the mid shaft and this time I'm using the fingers to hold the foil into place and then I'll, I'll go back and very gently tap up the lengths right at the root. I don't want to exceed the foil and the longer lengths I lift it up and I can drop it down so again as I said I like to have my hair and my working product at that 50% mark within my foil because it gives me a lot more control. Okay, so just seal up the foil nice and clean just when I'm doing foil works, after I like take into consideration all those little details, then it's just basically mechanics. Um, it's about cleanliness, mechanics, timing. Okay, so through the opposite side, the left side, I'll approach it in the exact same manner. So again, here I'll take that area right at the hairline, just a little bit finer. And through the left portion of the side, I'll work it all in the exact same manner, so horizontal sections. And then you need to get like symmetry and balance with your foils. So one, you need to have a super strong mind map about the placement and um, the exact space in between each foil. A landmark that can help you a bit is if you're a little bit iffy, just turn around, look to the side into your mirror, and you can kind of gauge where that same foil on the opposite side sits at, so it's 
a faster way to line up your foil so you can be more accurate. So through the top area, I'm working with slightly diagonal sections and notice her hair here is very, very fine. So I'll go in and just weave a bit softer. And again, use tension to hold the foil in place, mid shafts, roots, and then the ends. And after mechanically go back and just tighten up that foil. And here I'll be working in the exact same manner until I reach the crown area and I'm building up my color. So my very first foil I weave, that's the finest. And then each foil after, I start to build out the thickness. I'll start to take the hair a little bit heavier. And then as I reach the crown area, again, I'll take it a bit softer. Okay, so now for the tint, I'll be using a level 5 ash with 40 volume through the mid lengths. And just, again, this is very mechanical. What you're looking for is to work with super clean sections, even distribution and saturation of the product. Now that level 5 ash, it'll, because their ends are existing right now, they're like a, like a level 6 and they're a bit brashy. So that level 5 ash will tone down that color and the natural area, it'll give me the same amount of lift. So in one shot, I can balance out her color. So I'll start in the back because she has no gray hair and the back somewhat resistant. Being that the back somewhat res is resistant, it'll allow your color to process uh, more, more evenly. You'll get more symmetry and balance with the tonage. And I'll just start to go in between foils. Again, making sure I get thorough saturation. And once this, the mid shafts are done, I'll let it the chemical process for about 25 minutes and then I'll go back and I'll hit the root area. So again, even saturation. And just mesh the color into the hair. Now, so the root formula is a level five ash with 30 volume. The reason I left out the neutral tone is I don't want to pull warmth. Okay, now for the finish, um, I'll go through and I'll just flat wrap the entire head. I'll push the hair in tons and tons of different directions to encourage natural organic movement. As I blow dry, I don't like making really large motions with my hands because it's exhausting. What I do is I'll use maybe 30% hands, 70% hips and shoulders. So by sh just shifting my hips and shoulders a bit, it gives me that distance so I don't have to exert so much energy to get the exact same result. So some, again, less is more, a 70-30 or 80-20 rule. Okay, there we go, our lucky color, enjoy.